Libra. This is your reading for mid-August 2016. And uh, the flash is going to go out, so I'm just keeping it on as long as it'll last. These are very short mini readings, so for the mid-months. And also, I did just release a new video about new readings that I'm offering, including my artwork. So I'll put a link on this video. Check that out. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay. For Libra. What are the messages for Libra? August 15th through the 31st. What are the messages, the main messages for Libra? Libra. All right, let's take a look here. The High Priestess in Reverse, the Moon, and the Nine of Swords. Okay. All right. And the Seven of Swords underneath. So let me get this all set up so you can see it better. Move the camera and we'll get started. All right, thanks. All right, Libra. So I want to say, well, we have the Major Arcana, the High Priestess here. And then um, we also have the Moon. So Cancer might be uh, important to you, the sign of Cancer. And... Um, let me see here. I'm also getting possibly Pisces and Virgo. We do have the Seven of Swords and we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of thinking going on for you in August. A lot of thought processing, both, um, I think, consciously and subconsciously, especially with the, with the Moon card. Um for some of you, I feel that there's a situation uh, that you're having a difficult time moving on from. Now, this could definitely be a relationship. This could definitely, I'm feeling it as some type of a loss. Uh, this may have been, but I feel like the loss has happened already, but it's, you know, there's still grief involved. So whether this is um, somebody has passed over or if this is a recent ending of a relationship or maybe you've started a new job, but, you know, um, memories of the last job, maybe there were layoffs, something has ended or for some of you, it's, there's something that needs to end, but there's resistance to it. Now, I'm also taking or seeing this is, um, yeah, there goes the flash. Let me move this other light, hopefully. Um, maybe I can move it down a little bit here. Um, I feel this also could be something that's health-related and that it's important that if there is something health related um, that you definitely take a look at that. I don't think it's like a surprise though. I feel like this is something that you're very well aware of, whether this is, you know, happening to you or to somebody, uh, you know, a family member or a friend. Um, I think it's very important that you listen to your intuition because I feel like some of you are not listening to it in to some degree. Um, and I think that it's important 
because I feel like, especially with the Seven of Swords here, there are, for some of you, I feel like there are secrets. Maybe there's information that you have about a situation, about a person, um, and maybe, um, you know, it's difficult for you to, it's becoming overwhelming, especially here with all these swords. It's almost like, you know how they say we're as toxic or as um, unhealthy or, you know, as healthy as our secrets are. And I just feel like there is a situation where it's becoming overwhelming or um, there's um, um, a need to kind of cleanse or let go of these thoughts because I feel like there's a lot of thinking, a lot of ruminating um, or, you know, like thinking thoughts in a cyclical way over and over and over again, you know, almost to the point like, uh, so, you know, having difficulty not thinking about things. So I feel like grounding is going to be very important. Um, I always love to share that Doreen Virtue, you know, always says that the quickest way to ground yourself is to walk barefoot in the grass. And um, so I, you know, that's very important. Um, and that might be able to help you because I just feel like there's some kind of battles that are going on. And it's just, um, you know, it's important that you reflect on what it is that you want for your life, what it is that makes you happy. Because some of this, I feel like, may have to do with a relationship also or a marriage. Um, or do I want to get into a relationship again? What does love mean to me? I feel like there are truths or things to be faced, to be looked at more clearly. Um, maybe there's some fears that you have about a situation or about moving forward. And, um, you know, like almost a difficulty. You may be having some very strange dreams, um, especially here when you think about the Rider Weight card, too, with the Nine of Swords. Uh, we have the Moon card here, and then also the High Priestess, who is very intuitive, but she is upside down. It is in the challenge position. And so. I think that it's important that you um, that you do listen, you know, if your inner guidance is leading you to think something, then really take a look at that. Um, because some of you may very well kind of be ignoring, you know, ignoring that. Some of you, I feel like love could be also coming in in August. Or maybe new love has arrived. Um, but there's something from, I feel like, the past that needs to be let go of. I'm, it's going to be different for everybody. Uh, now, this could also be coming across that way because maybe somebody from your past returns or... Um, from your childhood, or maybe there's a trip back home that uh, you are going to be traveling in August, but there's some anxiety about that. There's some uh, fear in having to do that. Um, but, you know, we, we grow and we get stronger by facing our fears, by looking at the anxiety. A lot of this, too, with these swords, not only are they battles, they can be very harsh words. They can be, uh, also with this nine of swords, lack of communication um, or the lack of truth. You know, sometimes in the rider weight, also, this is the seven of swords, you know, where there's five left behind 
or two left behind, I'm sorry. And it looks like, you know, information is being exchanged back and forth in a, in a secretive way, or um, someone is trying to get away with something. Um, but I, I feel like this is more somebody around you rather than you. Um, but I, I feel like your past is going to be important. This may go back to childhood for some of you. Fears that are connecting you way to the past that are not, that are coming up, like they're bubbling to the surface and they're, you know, um, having a difficult time releasing them or looking at them. But I feel for quite a few of you that you are in the process of releasing it. Um, and... Um, for some of you, though, I do feel that there could be somebody around you, especially with this card. There could be a situation where, I don't know, it just seems like someone is trying to sabotage or play games with you. Um, I don't feel like this is you so much. Uh, maybe somebody's gotten you into a circle of it, but I feel like, um, you know, there's, there's just something that's stuck or there's a delay. And maybe there's also with the high priestess, she is the number two, you know, this, this speaks to, um, balance, um, or in reverse lack of balance, uh, so there may be something health wise that is throwing things off balance. Um, you know, with the moon, a lot of it cancer, I mean, has to do with our emotions, our feelings, and, um, and maybe there's some extra sensitivity going on for some of you, uh, your emotions. It's almost like you're wearing them on your sleeve as much as you, you want to suppress them or hide them. They're, they're coming up, like I said, to the surface. Um, now, I, I sometimes, you know, I'm reading this Nine of Swords in reverse as, um, you know, like the, the swords fall away much more easily, much more readily. So I feel like there's a, a need to clear your mind. So possibly meditation is going to be important. Uh, reflection. I'm also getting a mother figure for some reason. There may be something about a motherly figure or mother figure. Um, and, uh, and maybe that's kind of, I don't know, I almost feel like someone's honoring or there's uh, something going on with that. Maybe... Um, but there's, there's definitely time here for, for self-reflection and, and really kind of figuring out what it is that you want, what direction do you want to go in. Because there could be a, a situation that just keeps happening over and over and over again, especially getting back to the swords and the nine of swords, and, and there's a need to get out of this cycle. So, so listen to your inner guidance, listen to your intuition, and let that lead you. Let that help you find your way, get grounded, and if you do meditate or don't meditate, maybe start meditating. You know, meditation, um, there's different ways to meditate. Um, um, so, you know, and if you're not used to it, maybe start with two minutes a day. Uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be 20 minutes to half an hour, especially if you're not used to doing it. But I do feel that... Um, that there's just a, a need to um, stop resisting changes, the changes that are going on, the cycles of, of life. Um, 
and and facing what it is we need to face because uh, unfortunately or fortunately you know change can be definitely positive or or negative it depends on how you look at it so but um but I, I do feel that, like I said earlier, I do feel that there could be uh, new love coming in for some of you. You may be, you know, and I also heard either online or possibly connecting through Facebook. So there may be um, new relationships forming for quite a few of you. Um, and maybe that's what's bringing up this fear. Now, this also could be, like I said earlier, somebody from the past. And it doesn't have to be romantic. Maybe this is a past business partner, um, somebody or a past friend that is reaching out, you know, but maybe they hurt you in the past. And so there, it's bringing up something for some of you for whom this message even applies it's bringing up some kind of fear or self-reflection, um, but I, I, I'm being told to really listen to your intuition, to not ignore that. I feel like that's going to be important. Okay, so remember, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, watch your rising and or moon sign. And of course, I would love to do reading for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. All right, Libra, take good care. All right, bye.